Good afternoon and uh, welcome again to uh, part two of this video uh, showing the, a demonstration of the starter alternator mod uh, LA1384 uh, on the Jodel D112. This instalment of a series of videos will outline the various items of equipment required to bring about a realisation of, of this modification. As you might uh, hear from the background noise, the weather here at Bagby is uh, inclement, very windy. What you can see here is the battery installation, primary source of energy for the modification. And then coming down we can see a relay which is required for the isolating solenoid, which I'll show you in a little while and we're coming down and onto the uh, main battery circuit breaker and we're going across then to the grounding or earthing bus bar and then here we have the regulator and uh, the regulator connection and we can see the uh, wire loom coming from the control panel through the bulkhead uh, attaching to the various items of equipment and then here we have the um, vent for the battery which is coming down the uh, side uh, of the firewall uh, under the cowl and then goes right down and uh, vents below. Another shot now of the AC generator the ring gear and you can just see up here the starter pinion in its uh, re retracted position. You can see how it engages and of course that's the earth bonding. We can also see in this view how we've accomplished the fixing of the rear of the starter motor to the two halves of the crankcase using stainless steel brackets and a specially made rear bracket that goes onto the rear of the starter motor that can be seen fairly clearly and then coming down we can see also the rear bracket just about we'll see if we can get a better shot of that from the other side in this view you can see the main stainless steel mounting plate here which carries the uh, AC generator and you can see the uh, support for the tensioning arm. You can also see a stiffening bracket there made out of stainless steel and an additional stiffening bracket at the bottom. A rear view shot now of the uh, starter motor showing the rear support bracket from stainless steel leave off at this point now and go around to the other side of the fuselage to see the parts round at that side. A view now from the other side which shows the earth in bus bar and coming round following the main current carrying conductor to the starter solenoid and then the linking conductor into the starter proper with the feedback wire for the starter pinion engaged and then you can see the starter and the ring gear. A point of special interest here is when I spoke about the compromise of the starter motor clearing the uh, crankcase housing you can see there it's just eighth of an inch clear and that's achieved by the slots here in the uh, main plate and uh, again on this view you can see better the uh, rear fixing uh, bracket for the starter motor and I'll, I'll go around the other side and get a view from the back. So around the back now of the starter motor you can see the fixing brackets from the rear view and coming around you can see the uh, support plate that's been attached to the starter motor and uh, you can see clearly the uh, 
stratum water lower mountain rear brackets. Uh, this is a better shot showing two of the four uh, uh, machine screws which are wired together holding the main stainless steel mounting plate onto the register and uh, fixing back to the uh, crankcase and the whole thing is enabled to swivel because of slots in the main mounting plate. A better shot here of the starter motor isolating solenoid switch. This concludes part two of our uh, demonstration of the modification and it's a good way to spend uh, an afternoon at the airfield when the weather's not very good and uh, there'll be more detail in part three about various other items. Uh, don't forget to uh, click like on Facebook if uh, you like what we're presenting here. Thank you.